Welcome back, everybody. There's nothing cute about acute pain. That's pain that typically lasts no longer than three to six months. Now, if you've never experienced this kind of pain, well, you're lucky because it can be debilitating for those that do. So what do you do when you have a pain in the back, the neck, or anywhere else in your body? Scott went to Orthopedic Associates in Rocky Hill to see how they treat the not-so-cute acute pain. Judy Rosenthal is an active and busy professional who helps other people with their careers. I am a reemployment specialist and uh, an uh, HR specialist and uh, do organizational development and uh, HR human resource related things uh, and I do a lot of recruitment. But every now and then Judy needs some help herself. Not with her job, but with pain that she feels every now and then. Pain that can interfere with her busy life. I had some uh, orthopedic surgery that was necessary uh, some years ago and uh, from maybe some sports injuries and other things uh, I had experienced some pain. Where, where was the pain, Judy? Uh, I, it had started in my neck okay. and uh, I have had some shoulder issues um, that have since been taken care of uh, and uh, with some osteoarthritis as we get older along the way, um, I have had that issue addressed by Dr. Memo. Dr. Pietro Memo is an interventional physiatrist. What's that? The majority of my practice is spine. It's a good, a good 90%. That's what my focus is. And the focus of my, the type of practice that I have is non-operative orthopedics. Non-operative orthopedics. Non-operative orthopedics, and I focus mostly on spine care. Okay. At least our philosophy here at Orthopedic Associates is surgery is the last thing you want to do. Most of my practice is acute pain. So acute pain less than three to six Six months. That's what Judy had. I think that's one of the important things that Dr. Memo uh, does. He makes it clear that acute pain always doesn't turn into chronic pain and he tells you what the difference is and he actually shows you um, from perhaps x-rays or scans or things that they do. Um, maybe he'll compare what your spine looked like from three years ago to what it might look like today and why you're having the changes and he can make recommendations as to what to do. It might be a lifestyle change, like you need to do these exercises, or let's send you to physical therapy, which is always very helpful, or it might be an injection that might be helpful. Again, while the majority of Dr. Memo's patients suffer from acute pain, he treats those with chronic pain as well. Mark Zampino has been treated for both. Well, I have degenerative disc disease. I used to get, I call them the ice pick attacks, where I would just drop and be on my back for three days. To alleviate this pain, Dr. Memo performed what's known as radio frequency ablation. I'll do a procedure called radio frequency ablation, where I can literally cauterize that nerve so that joint is no longer transmitting pain through that nerve to your brain. It's, it's sealing it. While that's taken care of, I still have instances where I'm told some of my disc material will start to travel and push against nerves and it's excruciatingly painful. To treat this acute pain? When I have an acute disc episode, uh, he will give me um, an, an epidural injection. An epidural, most people think of epidurals when pregnant. women are pregnant and they'll get a catheter put in and that catheter will deliver a continuous flow of an anesthetic so you can then deliver the, the baby in a pain-free manner. Um, the medicine I put in is going into that space also. However, instead of using a catheter, I'm using an x-ray machine to put a needle into the space I'll put in a test dose of some contrast to make sure it's going exactly where I want it to go. And then I'll deliver some cortisone. Cortisone is an, a very strong anti-inflammatory medicine. What it's doing is it's neutralizing all those chemical irritants coming from that disc. And there, by doing that, you're then relieving the pain. Now, in some cases, with certain patients, surgery is required. The spectrum of what I see may be something that is um, as common as what Judy has to what Mark has to conditions that require surgery. When patients come into our practice at Orthopedic Associates, if I see the majority of them, as does my colleague, we'll do our best to keep people from surgery. So 95% of the time, you're not going to need surgery. But there are people who do because maybe the disc is too big or maybe the disc is in a very compromised area. So there are people that do need surgery. There is room for surgery. There's a place for surgery. And that surgery can take place right here at Orthopedic Associates. For patients that need surgery, and we have fantastic spine surgeons. We even have a neurosurgeon in our practice.
All right, so if something is bothering you, you might want to check it out. You can go to Orthopedic Associates. So if your pain in the back is a pain in the neck, then just head to their center. It is right in Rocky Hill. To learn more about Orthopedic Associates of Hartford, head to the practice website. It's oahct.com.